when we are born, when we are born as a baby, our energy is up there, not flat. Our energy is pure. If there's, um, if you're talking about fuel, say, unlittered fuel, then it's high octane, you know. <laughs> clean, clean fuel. Not E10. <laughs> when we're born, we're like that, high octane. Clean, pure. Full of vitality, spark in our eyes. Look at the baby's eyes. Every baby, I don't care which baby it is, what nationality they come from, the eyes sparkle. The eyes spark. When you see an adult's eyes spark, that's something. That's something. That's not normal. It should be normal. That's not normal. You look at that person, you go, wow. There's something about that person. They just spark. You see, the reason why they spark is because the energy, you know, is full. This energy, uh, it basically is very bright. The colour is it's very bright. So when when the brightness is so bright, I guess you glow. <laughs> Don't you? Like a baby, baby, a baby, they glow. You see? Now, as we get older, as we get older, we lose the energy. We lose the energy. The spark, the quality of the energy is reduced. We move from uh, unleaded 98 to 95 to 91 and then E10. <laughs> the quality, the spark is reduced in our eyes, in our face, in our energy, in our demeanor, in our voice, everything. When the energy is high, 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 it comes through even our voice. It's really like warm and sweet. It comes through in every way. You know? Your eyes won't just glow, even your ear, ear. what's that called? Earlobes. Earlobes. Sorry, earlobes. <laughs> Even your earlobes will glow. I'm telling you. That's probably a weird thing to see, but your earlobes will still glow. Every part of your body will just sparkle. You know. So over the years, we, we get older and older and older. We lose that glow. I want to explain how that happens from energy perspective. OK, you ready to hear it? Because you want to know that so that you can stop that. See, every time we think we're consuming energy, 
every time we think we're consuming energy. If you don't believe me, just check this example out and you understand what I'm saying. Let's say you, like, you're really excited to go on a holiday. You saved up the money, you took annual leave from work. And you search, you Google, you check all the prices, the destination, you check everywhere. You know? And after like, say five, six, seven hours of checking and reading, you're kind of zapped, you're tired. <laughs> Checking the prices and the, it's so stressful. Which one's the best price? Where do I go? It's so stressful. I met one person once, um, she came back from a holiday and she said, I need a holiday to get over my holiday. You know? Basically, because it's a thinking process. You're thinking a lot, thinking a lot. You know. In our society, thinking a lot is highly valued. I'll prove it to you. Any jobs that has high thinking content, like hours, high thinking content, is highly paid. Any job that's low thinking content is lowly paid. For example, a cleaner, a, um, a taxi driver, low thinking content. Security guard, low thinking content, lowly paid. See, our society values high thinking content. Now, that means we are encouraged since we're a child, growing up, growing up, to think heaps. Because you think heaps, you get good at thinking, you get high, show me the money. <laughs> get paid more. Understand? So we think a lot, think a lot, think a lot, think heaps. We look for jobs to think a lot, like lawyers, they think a lot. Highly paid. And analysts, highly paid. <laughs> Any thinking, high thinking jobs, project manager, a lot of thinking, highly paid. Accountant, a lot of thinking, highly paid. All these professions, I'm not against this profession, by the way. I'm just telling how energy works. <laughs> it's up to you to decide what profession you go into. <laughs> now, that means we are trained to think a lot, think a lot. The more we think, the more we use up energy. Right? Now, if you use, um, let's say, hypothetically, I don't know the spiritual energy is in kilowatt or what. <laughs> let's say you use a thousand kilowatt of energy, but you only replace it with 10 kilowatt. Obviously, you're in a deficit of 990 kilowatt. Even my uh, basic maths can work that one out. Uh, if you do that, say, per year, after 10 years, you're in deficit of 9,900 kilowatt. Can you see? You're losing spark, losing spark. When you lose spark and you lose this vitality, this energy, uh, the source, the flow, the universal energy flow, the chi or the prana is constantly sustaining us. We're actually swimming in it. We can't avoid it. That, that's, that's actually keeping us alive. This prana, this life force. Now, when our energy is flat, 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 the way we're actually consuming it in thinking, 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 the rate 
that the, the life force is flowing into us is less than what we're actually consuming. So over time, we're going to have a deficit, getting less and less. Now, when the energy pool of energy in us is below a certain level, then our immune system uh, basically gets weaker weaker over time and basically, in short, disease starts to show up. It starts to show up, you know? Not just physical uh, diseases, mental, it starts off with mental instability, you know, mental instability and physical diseases. So that's how it works. Now, inner peace, inner peace means your mental state is calm and not disturbed, calm, right, calm. Calm and relax. See? Calm and relax. We lose our peace. We lose our peace. Uh, we lose our calm by thinking. Thinking. For example, you might be very calm and peaceful. Oh, what a lovely, beautiful day. Had a good sleep, beautiful weather, had a swim in the ocean, feel great. You go on the deli, you queue up, and the person behind you says, how dare you push in like that, screams at you. The peace is gone. <laughs> But before that moment the peace is gone, you're thinking, I don't need that. I've had a great day, you ruined my day. <laughs> that thought, that thought triggers your emotions of disturbance. Can you see? Thought, thought, isn't it? And after that disturbance, you waste so much energy you feel flat, you see. So, from the perspective of inner peace, if you want inner peace and happiness, you have to actually know how to conserve energy. <laughs> You've got to be like, if energy was in dollars, <laughs> You have to be like that person that's really good at saving. <laughs> Basically, you want to be a person who's good at saving energy. See? Which means don't think much. Don't think much. Somebody doesn't like you, it's okay. Don't give another thought, don't think about it. Relationship's not going well, it's okay. Don't think about it. <laughs> I'm telling you, because if you're going to think about it, then it's going to be fights. <laughs> you don't think about it, you're calm. And calmness is the formula for long, happy relationships. 
So anyway, anyway. Do you understand what I mean? Energy. <laughs> Conserve energy by not thinking. How do you uh, recharge yourself, get energy in? The highest, the highest energy in the whole universe, the highest energy is the energy of, starts with L, love. Love is the highest frequency energy. So, if you're a bit of a thinker, and you're spending you know, your energy like that, you're just gambling energy away like that, you better learn how to love. Otherwise, you're going to be in a massive deficit. You're going to go broke. You're going to go broke. You're going to be broken hearted. See, see in this field, like, if you're in a business and you go broke, you've got no money. But in this energy field, when you go broke, when you broke, that means broken hearted. You're flat and broken hearted. So, you can see, you need two secrets. Don't think. Don't think. It doesn't matter what's happening in your life. Don't let your mind trick you to, to make you think how important it is. I've got to think about it. You're just like ruining your happiness and peace. You're just throwing away your energy, you know. Like just chuck it and chucking your energy at, at the tip. Bang. Like, you, know, you wouldn't do that. If you understand what I'm saying, you wouldn't do that. And you'd be learning how to love. Learn how to love. You know? What's the what's the most What's the highest love? What's the highest? Sorry? Self love. Self-love. Yep, self love. Yep. True self love is the highest. See, self love, our true self, our true self is big. I'm telling you, it's big. Is big. Our true self, this room cannot contain our true self. This planet couldn't contain our true self. It's like as big as the whole universe, you know? You know? So, if self love, self love, you know, is true self love, and, and if self-love is as big as the whole universe, doesn't that include everybody in this room? <laughs> Does it? It doesn't, it? See? Which means true self-love means everything, you know? If you love yourself, that means you... Because yourself is everything. So therefore, if you truly love yourself, you will love everything naturally. And everybody, everybody, everybody. And if you don't love everybody, everybody, then that is not true self-love. That is partial self-love. <laughs> you understand? See? Now, see... When you love, like the biggest, the biggest love, just think about the biggest, means expansive, isn't it? Expansive. So small love is 
Just love a few people only, your mates, only your mates, you know. Or if you're, you're, you grow up, you're a teenager, you're part of the, the you know, say the, the, the Westies, then the, I don't know, the, what do you call it, the Southies? <laughs> you don't like the Southies. They, 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 they come to your territory, the West, they're gone. <laughs> See? No, no, no. Love. Expand that. Love the Southies, the Northies, the Easties. <laughs> the outside, the inside. You understand? That's, that's massive love, you know? Love that. So when we expand our love big, 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 that means we are recharging ourselves. Understand? We are, we, are, we are recharging ourselves in a big way. Understand? In a big way. When we love just five, ten people, we're still recharging ourselves, but much smaller, much smaller energy units, kilowatts, compared to loving seven billion people and nine trillion animals. I just made that number up. I don't know <laughs> how many trillion animals. <laughs> <laughs> you know, love heaps. Then, then, then you can afford to think. You can afford to be a lawyer, <laughs> an accountant. <laughs> you can afford to think. That's okay, because you got plenty. You understand? So overall, my point is this. If you want to be peaceful and happy, you want to have high energy. High energy doesn't mean ADD. <laughs> because ADD is energy that's it's a bit wild, <laughs> a bit unbalanced. Yeah. But when you have high energy, I don't like some words. It's hard to high means you kind of go wild. <laughs> it's not true. High means high. Spark, you know, high light, high joy, high love, high gratitude, high peace, 